Hi everyone and welcome to Telecom TV's Main Agenda Super Panel. We are kindly sponsored once again by Hewlett Packard Enterprise and Intel and the topic of this evening's panel is no NFV, no 5G. What is it about the 5G standard that would necessitate CSPs adopting NFV? But at the end of the day, the entire 5G is related to the real ability to cloudify a number of network functions that, uh, that we have in the mobile, uh, in the mobile network. And uh, basically, <laughs> there is uh, no cloudification uh, without, uh, without virtualization. But if we want to focus on the 5G real differentiation against 4G, it's with the slicing. And then with the slicing, indeed, it uh, needs the virtualization. I think that uh, precisely the real promise of 5G is uh, trying to converge those architectures, having the uh, network sustainable by means of having a single infrastructure that can be sliced and shared and, and uh, uh, adapted to the different use cases and the different uh, requirements. And that implies that either you have it with NFV or you won't have it at all. I think we can, we can learn more by looking at, hey, how have they coexisted in the cloud domain and also understand, does it kind of map similarly to the networking domain or is it completely different? I don't see where the business is coming from. If you, if you start doing 5G, there's a lot of promises around the slicing, about flexibility, about cost matters what NFV helps. I think all of that capabilities which are promised by 5G are only achievable through, through NFV as well. So I'm quite convinced that it's not feasible, it's not realistic and it's not the benefit of the ecosystem to try to leapfrog to the container advent. There are good reasons, there are good features in, in the virtualization part which we need. So I think it's going to be a sort of a dual or both things. I mean, there are certain applications, certain use cases, which need a much more cloud native, much more a platform type of approach, where other use cases need a much more virtualization type of setup. So a lot of the big enterprises want a lot of their data on premise. They're extremely concerned with the, the security and privacy of that data uh, and, and, and are very much interested in kind of the, the 5G edge scenarios where their data can be pro uh, protected uh, and, and remain on premise for the enterprises. So from uh, what are they willing to pay for, they are willing to pay for that data sovereignty and security. If you tell a customer you're going to go for a new brand uh, a service just yes, to see videos in, uh, in higher resolution in your tiny screen on, the, on, the, on your phone. But if you tell them that you can, for example, you can integrate your factory with your, with your stores all over the, the country and coordinate the movements of your, of your trucks, that to me makes sense. CIO and IT manager, they know very well what they are looking from the, from the CSP today. They have a very clear idea. They, they, they want much more flexible connectivity and they want many more over-the-top services on top of the connectivity. And they can list today. If you go to many of them, they have already a clear picture of, of, what, of what they want. The problem of the industry is that uh, how much do they want to pay? How much do they want to pay and how much the industry on the other side is ready to stay into a certain price structure? Well, that is all the time we have um, for this evening, unfortunately, because we could go on forever. It's a fascinating discussion and great debate. So thank you very much, everyone. Good evening.